It's time for business news with Richard Southern. The holiday season is upon us, but there could be a little less cheer this year, Richard. Yes, for those of us that like a little tipple or two during the holidays, Erica. A glass bottle shortage is putting pressure on spirit producers and wine producers just ahead of that critical holiday season. Demand for glass bottles has been out pacing supply all year. And this is triggered in part by the pandemic. We saw fewer people return used bottles during the pandemic. Also affecting the situation, though, is labor shortages, uh, overseas manufacturing delays, and higher transportation costs. We heard today from the Distilled Spirits Council out of the United States. It said a glass bottle shortage is being felt throughout the sector, be it for tequila, vodka, or whiskey. As for the effect on us consumer looking to mix a drink or two, experts say you may see smaller volume bottles. Producers are going to concentrate on the highest selling uh, size bottles, and that's typically 750 milliliter for liquor. They also say, Erica, you may have to search a little bit more to fav uh, find your favorite alcohol as we move in to the holiday right. season. See more small bottles in people's kitchens <laughs> this year, I guess. Yes. Uh, the yes, US... you have to stock up, stock up on the little small bottles for yeah. the holidays. All right, the U.S. government taking a big step today in an attempt to ease rising gas prices. Yeah, Joe Biden said he's tired of high gas prices. He wanted to do something about it. And he announced a, a rare move, the release of 50 million barrels of oil from the U.S. strategic oil reserve. Normally, a move like that would push the price of oil down. It didn't. Oil rose 2.2 percent today to $78.50. And it looks like gas prices are heading higher across much of Canada this week. Uh, for example, in the province of Ontario, we could see a six cent hike by Thursday morning. Uh, Americans use about 20 million barrels of oil a day on average. That means today's release of oil from the Strategic Reserve represents only about two and a half days of additional supply. So we'll have to see how this shakes out. But it's very interesting to see the president of the United States really trying to crack down on rising gas prices, Erica. And finally, more and more people are heading back to the office. And that's actually bad news for one tech company, Richard for Zoom video communications. I know a lot of people are still doing the video conferencing, but Zoom reported earnings last night, and it said it's projecting a revenue slowdown as the pandemic subsides and more people return to in-person work. And that prompted analysts to downgrade their price targets on Zoom. The stock fell 14 0.6%. It was one of the big high flying stocks during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. Speaking of earnings, should mention as well, Gap and Nordstrom just reported results after the bell. Those U U.S. retailers hard hit the stocks down sharply, Erica, amid uh, supply chain snafus and weaker than expected earnings. All right. This business editor, Richard Southern. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Erica.